Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Global Defense. Let's discuss the latest defense and global news 1. India and China announced the disengagement of troops at multiple friction points along the line of actual control in eastern Ladakh on Monday 2. French Rafale destroyed Turkish air defense the system in Al Watiya Air Base, a source reveals to 218 News. 3. Israel announces the successful launch of new spy satellite 4. Bhutan issues démarche to China over its bid to create border trouble 5. The USS Nimitz and USS Ronald Reagan was performed operations and exercises in the South China Sea 6. Kuwait's National Assembly approves expat quota bill India and China announced disengagement of troops at multiple friction points along the line of actual control in eastern Ladakh on Monday. Indian Army officials said on July 6 that the PLA had removed tents and structures and pulled back one kilometer at the contentious patrol post 14. PP 14 is where a deadly clash on June 15 left 20 Indian soldiers and an unknown number of the Chinese PLA died. Vehicles had also moved back in Hot Springs and Gogra, two other areas north of the Galwan Valley where the PLA had intruded in early May, the army said. But there has not been any tangible movement in the Pangong Lake area, government sources said Monday. The de-escalation came hours after National Security Advisor Ajit Doval held a two-hour discussion with Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi on Sunday evening. As reported earlier, there will be a 72-hour window for both sides to verify the steps taken before initiating the next round of de-escalation. 218 News learned from an informed source that a series of strikes targeting al Wataya Air Base on Saturday night was carried out by a French Rafale fighter from about 70 kilometers away The same source revealed that the airstrikes targeted two Turkish defense systems that were inside the base, one of which was completely destroyed, while the other wasn't, indicating that the range of these air systems are 40 kilometers, a difference of 30 kilometers from the range that the base was bombed at This is the second time that al Wataya Air Base has been bombed since the withdrawal of the national National Army forces from it on May 18, as witnesses heard in Al Rajban area explosions and sounds of aircraft over the base three days ago. The OFEC 16 joins a fleet of Israeli spy satellites that have been launched over the past two decades. While officials did not identify specific threats, arch enemy Iran, which Israel accuses of trying to develop nuclear weapons, is first among them. All the group of satellites is being used to monitor any threats on the state of Israel, which as you know are sometimes far away and immediate so they require constant monitoring, said Aman Harari, the head of the ministry space and at the 58th Global Environment Facility Council held recently, the Chinese member raised objections to the Saktang Wildlife Sanctuary Project and argued that it was in a disputed area between China and Bhutan. Saktang lies in a zone of Bhutan that borders Arunachal Pradesh and China. At the meeting, Bhutan strongly objected to the references made by China against its sovereignty. India is keeping a close watch on China's recent claim of the Bhutanese territory The Bhutan government later issued a formal letter to the GEF, strongly opposing references that questioned the country's sovereignty. Two U.S. aircraft carriers conducted exercises in the disputed the South China Sea on Saturday with China also carrying out maneuvers that have been criticized by the Pentagon and neighboring states. The USS Nimitz and USS Ronald Reagan were performed operations and exercises in the South China Sea last year The United States accuses China of trying to intimidate Asian neighbors who might want to exploit its extensive oil and gas reserves. Brunei, Malaysia, the Philippines, Taiwan, and Vietnam also lay claim to parts of the South China Sea, through which about $3 trillion of trade passes each year. MP Safa al Hashim also urged Kuwait to expel close to 2 million expatriates from the country over the next five years to rectify its demographic imbalance. A draft law calling for an expatriate quota system in Kuwait has been approved by the National Assembly's Legal and Legislative Committee, local Daily Kuwait Times reported. According to the bill, Indians, who form the largest foreign community in Kuwait, must not exceed 15% of the national population, which currently stands at 1.45 million. MPs have already called to replace all expat jobs in the government within one year. In May, it was announced that Kuwait's municipality will soon dismiss all expat employees and replace them with Kuwaitis that's all for today. If you like the video, then please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel and also don't forget to share the video.